First up, take some corrugated cardboard and measure out two by one and a half inch sections and then start to cut them out. This is going to form the base for the beds. Here I'm using a rather large knife. You can do it with scissors. Once you've got your rectangles of card, glue two of them together as a sandwich. This will form the mattress bed. Next, pinch off the edges and curl them over to give it a used look. Then, taking a good sharp pair of scissors, cut off any excess from the bottom. This keeps the sides neat and allows you to bend it further over without weird fraying around the edges. Crimp two long sides and one short side, leaving the other one square. The square end will be the top side of the bed where you'll fit the headboard. Here, I take a piece of extra card and freehand some headboards. Cut out your headboard pieces using a good sharp pair of scissors. Here I use a technique so that I can do them all a lot quicker. Once you're happy with your headboards, size it up, then hot glue it to the main piece. Once the headboard glue is cooled, fill in the corrugation with more hot glue. Squeeze it into the corrugations delicately, but then using the flat end of your hot glue gun, smooth it out. This helps to push it in and gives it a nice solid look. Also, it helps to reinforce it. Don't forget to go underneath as well to secure it on. Once you're happy with the look, go back over and pick off any wisps. It's better to do this while there's still a bit of heat in it so that it doesn't stick too much. Don't forget to trim the underside. Using a small amount of hot glue, I simply attach these to a board so that I can get them primed and based in black and then a deep brown. I use spray paint for speed, but you can use normal craft acrylic. Here I mix up a nice sort of straw color as most peasant beds from the olden days would have been some kind of straw component. Most of this is gonna be covered anyway. Next, take some masking tape, normal household masking tape, and ball it up. You're looking to achieve something the size of a used piece of chewing gum. Next, take another small piece, and I wrap the wadded ball up. This is to form the pillowcase for what will be the pillow for the bed. You don't have to be too neat about it, as long as it's vaguely square. Then to give it that authentic look, using my thumbnail, I squeeze the center to make it look as though a head has been placed on it. Using a dab of hot glue, I attach it to the main part of the bed. Next, the main piece, tea bag. This piece is going to be used for flocking later on, so save the tea and then dry it out. Now the fabric on these is quite delicate, but it's pretty useful for this craft. Carefully open up the bag and you'll be surprised how much material is used on each one. Once it's all dry, it's naturally stained, so just tear it to size to form a quilt or sheet. Using a few dabs of hot glue, just place a piece of material over the surface, scrumple it into place so that it looks like a used bed. When you're happy with it, pull off any of the seam edges that you don't want and pull it to size. Then using burnt umber acrylic, I take a dry brush and I put it just over the head of the pillow just so that it looks nice and grimy as if a peasant had used the bed and here you have your pretty much finished item I hope you all enjoy these glamour shots and I hope you enjoyed this five minute craft feel free to like share subscribe and comment below to let me know what you think